Well, speaking of Mr. Musk, Elon Musk's SpaceX launched its first rocket of 2024. The Falcon 9 blasted off into space yesterday, carrying 21 Starlink satellites, including ones which hopes uh, which hope to act like a cell phone tower in space. According to SpaceX, the satellites will enable mobile network operators around the world to provide seamless global access to texting, calling and browsing. Joining me now uh, with more on the launch and what's expected for space exploration in the coming year is CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, we're going to get text messages from space. This is exciting. Uh, how significant was yesterday's launch? Well, it's fairly significant. You know, six of the 21 satellites on board are equipped with uh, technology that will allow them to contact directly uh, cell phone users. And the idea here is if you're in an isolated area with no cellular connectivity at all, uh, you, can, you may be able to text, as you said, eventually do voice uh, calls. And so it's really designed for underused uh, uh, areas and for emergencies, you know, disasters, things like that. You know, your car breaks down in the middle of the desert, that sort of thing, or up in Alaska. Um, so it's, it's significant in that sense. Now, it's never going to replace terrestrial uh, cellular operators uh, in terms of the volume of calls it can handle and the speeds. Uh, but it's a, it's a neat step forward when you think about really isolated areas having the ability at least to at least send a text message, I need help, or something like that. Uh, so in that sense, it's a, it's a step forward, no question. So let's talk a little bit more about Starlink. Um, I think a lot of people may have heard more about it after uh, the war in Ukraine was launched, and they may recall that Elon Musk suggested slash threatened to to sort of to take it down in Ukraine after a lot of the cell phone infrastructure had been knocked out because of the war. Let's talk about Starlink, how revolutionary it is, but also some of the concerns about it. Well, as you say, there are concerns with a widely used network like this in the hands of a, of a private citizen who owns it and can control its operation. But, you know, SpaceX isn't the only company getting into this field. Uh, Amazon is on the verge of beginning to launch its own network of uh, low Earth orbit satellites for uh, data relay and communications. Uh, so are other co companies and even countries. China's building such a system. So eventually we're going to have multiple uh, ways for uh, individuals and companies, governments uh, to use these satellites for communications. However, as you said, uh, the ownership of those systems can possibly prove problematic depending on the political situation on the ground. You know, these things aren't controlled by the government. They're controlled by the company. Uh, and so that does raise some questions in some quarters uh, in terms of directing national policy, for example, or interfering in conflicts. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. And I, I'm mm -hmm. not sure how that's going to play out. But it's a, it's a wide open field right now. Lots of people are racing to get their satellites in orbit and uh, get a get a chip of this market. Yeah, it's a fascinating discussion and a fascinating uh, area of space exploration, if you can call it that. Bill, thank you very much.